I got an emergency, guys. I, I just saw in chat. People are freaking out. I got some messages. Magoo is stuck in the mud. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know how I'm going to save him. The mud is so deep. I, I got three emails. I saw the comments. I said, get out there and save Magoo. Because I switched the cameras around. And oh no, Magoo is stuck in the mud. Get the duck stuck in the mud. It's like panic, panic. Facebook messages. Facebook messages, emails. Magoo is stuck in the mud. What are we gonna do? I gotta get a rope. I gotta get a rope to save Magoo. That's what it is. Let's go get a rope to save Magoo. Oh no, there's Magoo. Oh, you people. And you wonder why I get upset at the cry wolf people. You're not gonna believe it. I got three emails, two Facebook messages, and I saw people commenting in the comments when I switched the cameras around that, Matt, go save Magoo. Go get him. Oh no, Magoo, he's dying in the mud. And then I look out the window and I see Magoo playing in the bathtub. And I thought to myself, well, you know what? I'm going to do a little cry wolf video here. I figured if you guys can cry wolf and uh, get me all freaked out inside the house thinking that Magoo's stuck, I can give you something back. Magoo hasn't left the pan, guys. He's clean as a whistle. He's been playing here. I just like, I, I'm, and you know, and people wonder why I'm sarcastic. Well, so I said to myself, I'm going to grab, and, uh, uh, well, no, the, the alert system won't work, guys, because I, I didn't, like, I normally don't have anything turned on on my body to tell me because I'm supposed to be working. Charlie, did you do a cry wolf? It's like, okay, I just want to make sure, Charlie, because, you know, like, crying wolf's not a good thing around here. But I couldn't believe it, guys. I was like, and then I, I thought, okay, I'm going to open my computer, and we'll take a look. And, oh, there's a couple of emails come through. Oh, no, Magoo's in trouble. Get Magoo. Save him. Because you know, ducks in mud, eh? It's over. The duck is in the mud. Pfft. We'll just get the axe out, guys. End it. It's over. The show's ended. I know, Magoo. Crazy people on the internet. All right. I got to uh, get back to work here. I've got a stream going. And I, I know what's going to happen. My bedroom is going to be full of mosquitoes. But I'll show you what I've done. I had to come up with something else while I'm doing this law because you know what, guys? It's absolutely gorgeous, but they're calling for a 40% chance of uh, um, uh, uh, um, rain. And I got to leave the property to take Doug. I'm just waiting for uh, Andy to call me. But I'll just show you where I got the camera right now. It's in the window. I don't know if you can see it. So that's where I've got it right now, pointing at the lake. I try to get in the highest spot possible, but still inside. Because just in case it rains while I leave, because Andy's going to phone me and tell me. Okay, that's all right. Andy's going to phone me and tell me uh, um, to come in right away because he's technically not working today. Technically. I'm just gonna turn this off. I'm no use running all the electronics. Uh, oh, sorry, running all the electronics in the garbage cans if I'm not using them right now. So I'm just waiting for his call. I got, uh, I got uh, uh, some uh, uh, t-shirts donations some people have grabbed some t-shirts I gotta take care of that it's because I thought well if I'm gonna run to town with Doug 
I was going to stop at the post office and drop off some t-shirts. Kill two birds with one stone. You know what I mean? Even though we're, we're trying not to kill any birds here. Um, I think I got five t-shirts to do. I think five. I'm not too sure. It's not a lot. Some to do. Anybody, you'll get a notification on PayPal uh, today once I pack them all up. Alright, let's see who's uh, doing in here. Oh no, dead duck. Ah. Man! Alright. Oh, I gotta deal with it about a dead duck here. Last night, you know, I saw this little duck and I thought to myself, didn't have a good feeling about it. It was laying around, you know, not too, uh, um, not too good. The hospital ducks, eh? Anyways, hospital ducks, the situation here is uh, we got this the one guy over there who's just not going to walk. Not, not doing good. Then we got these guys with some limps, but that's it. And the gray one is the one uh, that Doug ran over two nights ago. I let it out yesterday, and uh, it, it still had too bad of a limp. So, that's the deal. Anyways. It's like a dead duck every day here. It's got to stop soon, though. Usually does. Usually does. Because, you know, August, September. Well, September, I don't remember dead ducks in September. All right. I didn't count on that. Say, rescue me, goo, and uh, and then a duck dies. You don't win, eh? <laughs> Magoo. Stuck in the mud. Hurry up. He's gonna die. Oh man, I just couldn't believe it. The panic, eh? The people just panic. It's just, oh man. I... Tell you, Woodpecker. Where is he? Um, yeah, the panic. It's absolutely just hysterical, actually. But I know what you mean, Rover Pilot. Yo, when people say that. You know, rescue the fish because the fish is drowning in the water. I know. Our, our education system is seriously lacking some people uh, on, on, you know, the environments that animals live in. But I, I'm double checking just to make sure, you know, maybe, maybe it's another duck that's down here. But they said it was Magoo. And there are no ducks down here, guys. Well, at least no ducks stuck in the mud. I'd like to know, you know, where this... I would love to see a screenshot of this. Because there is no ducks. Look, look, nothing. Not a duck down there. The Muscovies are right here. So, can I get a thumbs up for saving Magoo? We got 66 people watching the rescue video of Magoo. And only 42 people care. I hope there's no coyotes today. You know, the fact that I, uh... Okay, let's read it back out. i got to read this big one here. Someone just typed it out. Oh, no, hang on. Big comment. I know, Cat. That's the problem about uh, uh, false alarms. You know, people just don't understand this. It's like, you know, and they wonder why I get upset about the cry wolf thing, you know? And then they feel, Matt, you're so mean to your fans, you know? Okay, we got, oh, someone, Madeline got abducted in 2007 and we're supposed to call and go to that person's 
or something. Give Madeline back. Poor Madeline got abducted. Sorry about that. I guess this is an emergency video live stream. We were, we're on the, uh, the network now. People are coming to post their emergencies. All right, guys. So, Magoo's safe. I saved him. Um, it was a big deal to get him out of the mud. But I did it. So, but that's why I hate cry wolf stuff, you know? That's why I get, you know, sort of short in the comments. It's like, it's like, seriously, I mean, I'm just about to go do some work and I'm ready to go and I see, you know, on the computer and uh, because I wanted to make sure that the stream was working upstairs and, uh, you know, everything was fine. <laughs> and then I, when I open my computer, my email comes on, two emails, two or three. Facebook notification. Anyways, we saved Magoo. He's good to go. The duck will live longer today because of that. And you know, an example, like last night we really did have an emergency. You know, a real one. Well, it wasn't an emergency emergency, but you know, uh, if it wasn't for Doug's uh, uh, sedation problem I had last night with a porcupine quill on his nose, uh, I wouldn't have got the phone call and that little duck who knows? But it might have been still out because we haven't had any nighttime visitors here. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, I might have come out and the little duck was walking around the yard. But, you know, that that's a, like the more type of, you know, that, that that's the kind of stuff you want to be notified about. Not, you know, the magoo stuck in the mud while he's playing in the bathtub. If you know what I mean. So, I'm going to say goodbye because, uh, like I said, I've got the, uh, you can't see it. Well, maybe you can. See, I've got the screen door open, so I'm thinking tonight my bedroom's going to be full of mosquitoes and the camera's inside in case it starts to rain because there's a 40% chance. But look at that, eh? Like, how do you trust the weatherman? But if you look on the radar below us, it's uh, um, rain south of us, so maybe it is coming north. I don't know. Maybe. I know one thing, it's just really really up it's upsetting me I I know I need I need some kind of tent or shack things outside to put cameras in the garbage pails work but it'd be better if there was a tripod and had buildings you know, or, or like like the feeding station type setups around the property where you know you could put a camera underneath and it wouldn't matter if it rained like a two walled like two walls and a ceiling you know so it stops the wind I don't know. I know I'm learning a lot on this live streaming outside stuff. I'll, I'll be able to work for National Geographic after this. I've had all the weather, but the ducks are having a blast. So, like I said, I've got the camera on the lake, so at least you know you can see some duck action on the lake. So you know the the 50 ducks in the hot tub actually has something on the thousand duck stream. And so because that was pretty bad, all you guys were looking at was mud, and uh, the CGI magoo stuck in the mud. Anyways. And we're up 71 thumbs up for saving Magoo. Right on. Take a sheet, hang it on the back of the camera, feed the mosquitoes. That ain't gonna stop nothing, Diane, trust me. The only way to stop mosquitoes is either uh, uh, a screen or close your windows. That's it. The, uh, you, you literally have to take the sheet and staple it all the way around your window to stop it. How's Doug? Out still. I'll take you inside. Actually, let's, let's, I'll go give you a Doug tour here. I had to vacuum my bedroom. I didn't realize it till I did the stream. I was, I was like, holy mackerel, Doug. There's a lot of fur on that carpet. <laughs> it's like, so, so I had to move Doug to, uh, to vacuum where he was laying there. I was like, he was just stumbling all over the place. Okay, so I don't know. Will it still work? What's going on here? No, we're back now. No, I had to go offline to switch networks. I told you guys I was doing that. There's panic. Okay. He's uh, he's he's still pretty well uh, uh, knocked out. He won't move. 
And to get him down the stairs, I had to help him down the stairs. I actually had to hold his front chest and, and bring him down. So, I, I he's, he's still pretty well out. Oh, it cut off before I switched? Okay, all right, got a mental note about that. Mental note, there's the delay on uh, um, when I switch that. So I gotta tell you guys, I guess count to 10, and then do the switcheroo. Is he breathing? More than likely. If he isn't, he's dead. I don't think he's dead because I just brought him down the stairs with my vacuum bell, the, the, the fur. Man, there was a lot of fur. I looked at the stream, eh? And I was like, holy mackerel. Just like, looks like I never clean my house. But I got a dog that uh, just drops blonde fur 24 seven. That's what he does. He's, uh, um, he doesn't shed. He's just a hair generator, I guess we could call him. All right, I'm gonna go and do uh, some work. No, the quill's not gone, Lester, because we haven't gone to the vet yet. That's happening. It was a trick coming down the stairs, Gene. I had to hold him uh, to get him to uh, come down the stairs. And his back end basically dragged, it was actually his back end slid down the stairs like a sled, and I had to hold the front of him. So, but we're going to the vet. I'm just waiting for Andy to call me, but I gotta go do some work while I'm waiting because Andy's, uh, um, um, not at work this morning. So, we saved Magoo's life. He almost perished in the mud slash playing in the bathtub, which he's still there right now. Oh, man. Save Magoo, save Magoo. All right, I'm going to say goodbye.